But first, some tough words from Austin's police chief. I'm here to tell you that I don't know what Bible you read, but I'm loving my neighbor. The Austin Police Department is standing up for Muslims in our community. Today, the police chief said people should not paint an entire religion of more than one billion people by the actions of a few. This comes after protests last week during the Texas Muslim Capital Day. It also follows comments by Republican State Representative Molly White on Facebook. She instructed her staffers to have Muslim visitors renounce Islamic terror groups and pledge allegiance to the U.S. And for the first time, we are hearing directly from State Representative White. The Republican lawmaker from Belton says she did not realize what a reaction her comment would cause. KXAN's Angie Bevan talked to her about why she said what she did and looks at the impact. Hindsight's 2020. I probably would have elaborated a little bit more. I was in a rush. I made the post. And in the wake of her viral Facebook post, Representative Molly White says context can paint a clearer picture too. She says her comment asking Muslims visiting the Capitol to renounce terrorism was directed to members of the Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE. They organized the rally at the Capitol. This group has been listed as one of the 82 top terrorist organizations by the United Arab Emirates. That sends up red flags. However, the United States government does not consider CARE a terrorist organization. It's unfortunate that it happened on a day where Muslims from Texas were actually trying to do their civic duty and go meet their representatives, which in my opinion is a, it's a great way to you know, show your loyalty to the country and be democratic. Muhammad Ahmed says this all goes to show how much work Muslims in Texas have to do to bring out the reality of Islam. There is always people who are going to say negative things and it's what you can only, you know, control your own response. And what is the best response? The best response is to dispel any and every misconception you can possibly find. So. And he says that will keep him busy. In Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Representative White says that not all the feedback was negative. She got support for her comments as well. The outreach coordinator from the Round Rock Muslim community says their Women's Association has invited White to be a part of their interfaith event they're hosting next weekend. There's no word yet on whether she'll attend. We mentioned the U.S. government disagrees with the UAE's decision to put the Council on American Islamic Relations on its terrorist list. A U.S. spokesperson said he would follow up with the UAE last November. A CARE spokesperson said the group is seeking clarification on its shocking and bizarre inclusion on the list from the UAE. Keeping in mind, the U.S. State Department has its own foreign terrorist organization list. We checked and there are 59 groups listed right now. Six of those groups were added to that list within the last year. The State Department is also constantly searching out new groups to add to the terror list. They say the designation isolates terrorist organizations and curbs their financing abilities.